you this then. It's a Bosch WMNS N six one two W six kilo twelve hundred spin sold by Argos um, for a little bit price of about one hundred and seventy nine. But nowadays that is it's more like two hundred quid thanks to inflation and other factors stuff like that. Anyway, let's take a look then. This is a pretty basic machine. It gives you everything that you kind of need to get going as a washer. Um, but it's also quite complicated too in um, similar formats. So, um, your door handle is here. And we open it to see a six kilogram drum. Not much to see in there. At the bottom, we've got our... Uh, filter cover there with our filter behind it. There is no drain pipe on the filter so you'll have to be careful when taking the filter out with the water inside. At the top we've got 15 programs. Um, we've got stop at the top which is also your off. Um, we'll go from... so we'll go from right to left. First program cotton 90 made for a full load of uh, clothes, it will take around two to three hours depending on the load. Um, this has an automatic half load sensor in it, so um, if you have a half load or less, it should take about two hours. If you have a full load, it should take about three hours. Then over here, we've got options as well. I'll show you these first on the Cotton 90 cycle. We've got um, this LED is flashing. Now, when it's flashing like this, it's it's got the word wash, rinse, spin and end here. When it's flashing, it's actually telling you where the machine is going to start the cycle, not its temperature. So, if we press temperature again, it will come up with nothing. If we press it again, it goes solid. Now, this down this side, we've got 60, 40, 30 and cold. When it goes solid there, it's saying that it's now set at 60 degrees. We'll push it again, we've got 40 degrees. Again, 30 degrees. Again, cold. And push it again, it goes off, and that's actually 90 degrees. We've got our variable spinner here. We've got 1200 spin, which is your maximum spin speed for this machine. 800, which is on the all, all the synthetic cycles. 600 on the delicate cycles. And spin exclusion, which will cancel all the spins altogether. We've got an extra rinse option which will up the rinse count from two to three. And we can add a pre-wash of the cotton and uh, easy care cycles, which will add uh, around a 20 minute wash before around at 30 degrees. Back to the programs then. Uh, so the second program in is co cotton with a pre-wash, automatic. If you press the temperature, it will go automatically to 60, 40, 30 and cold, back to 60, that's the maximum temperature. Uh, Pre-wash icon is already added, and you can't take it off. Then we've got Cotton 60, this is the standard Eco Energy program to give you A++ energy rating, as well as its wash rating. It doesn't actually hit 60, it hits around 40-ish degrees to be in line to be economical. It also takes around three and a half hours to complete. Um, even if you've got a small load in, it's still looking over the three hour mark. Cotton 40 is also your standard energy program, washing at around 35 degrees. Again, it also takes three and a half hours. Eco 20 degrees allows you to wash uh, about a half load of cottons that are lightly soiled at 20 degrees. But when you press this temp button, 30 degrees will lie. Now 30 degrees here means it's actually 20 on the cycle, and if we press it again, it goes to cold, it will just switch off the heater and not heat. There's something to note there. It's a much shorter cycle than the normal cotton cycle, taking around an hour 40. Easy care cycles made for a half load of man-made fabrics. It can go to just 40 degrees on this and has a maximum of 800 RPM. It's limited to prevent excess creasing on the fabrics. 
Then we've got the wool cycle, which allows you to wash at 30 degrees, which is a bit odd because normally they allow you to wash at 40. And that's for a quarter load of wool. Rinse and spin will do several rinses with a fabric softener rinse as well as a full length cotton spin. It's made for a full load. Spin only will do a full length cotton spin. If you select. That's odd, there is no drain only option on this. Yee. Ah. So normally on most washing machines, if you select no spin, it will do drain only. But on this, it appears that you can't. Right. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. If you wanted to just bail out the washing machine of water for whatever reason. So let's say it's broken down. Anyway, hand washing delicate allows you to wash at 30 degrees. A quarter load of delicate laundry, and it's gently spun at 600 RPM. Sports cycle allows you to wash a half load of lightly soiled easy care fabrics that are made for sports use at 30 degrees and washes in about 70 to 80 minutes. The mix cycle allows you to wash a half load of mixed cottons and synthetics of all colours at 30 degrees. The shirt cycle allows you to wash a quarter load of shirts at 60 degrees and does a 600 RPM spin. Now, it doesn't just do a 600 RPM spin like a normal easy care cycle. What it will do is do a series of stops and will detangle the, the shirts before ending the final cycle. Daily 60 allows you to wash a half load of cottons that are lightly soiled up to 60 degrees at 1200 spin max as well. And it takes exactly 60 minutes. There's one problem though and that is it only does one rinse. And you can't even have extra rinse. Ah. Rapid 15 allows you to wash a quarter load of lightly soiled uh, garments in 15 minutes with a very short, short final spin. It only does 30 degrees if you're lucky, because obviously it normally doesn't. And it will only do one rinse. Back to stop, and away we go. Now, between every use of the machine, when it gets to the end, end will be fully lit up when it's at the end of the cycle. However, to select the next cycle, or even just to start the same cycle again, you have to go from there, let's see what other program you're on, back to stop, leave it so the LEDs go out completely, and it does take a few seconds, and then go back to your program again, or whatever program you want to select next. Hmm. Another thing to note is that the extra rinse and pre-wash can be both selected at the same time, to set the child lock, which will prevent any options being changed or the machine being paused during cycle. Not that it's that hard to do because stop pause can be a little bit iffy when you're trying to pause the machine. Right, I'll just turn draw. It splits into three compartments. This one is if you select the pre-wash option or the pre-wash with cotton cycle and you have put detergent into this compartment and you put most of your wash detergent into this compartment on every other cycle that you're using. Unless your detergent, like in this case, goes inside the drum. If you want the fabric softener, that goes in the middle here. And that will be dispensed into the final rinse. Yeah, so let's turn it on. We're going to select cotton 90. We're going to reduce the temperature to 60. Add an extra rinse. Start. So when you go press start, the wash light will go solid. And as it goes, progresses through, the LED will move down, depending on where in the cycle it is, until it gets to the end of the cycle. When it gets to the end, that will remain fully lit until the machine is switched off.
Take a look then. Hmm, well, that smells really good. And one thing to <coughs> say straight from the off is how dry these are. They smell very, very well softened and they smell rather clean. Looks like we've got some rub in here, which is a bit odd because it's all the same bedding. It doesn't look again. Right, so what I'm going to give this out of 10 then. It's going to get 5 out of 10. I know this seems a bit of a bizarre thing, but the trouble is it doesn't really rinse very well, so you usually have to put extra rinse on anyway. The pre-wash option is, you know, a bit useless. It could have done with a different option. Um, bear in mind, Vestal have nine different options. So, um... And then the other thing is that whole, you know, the 90 degree disappearing. And because the LEDs are the same for the wash, rinse and spin and end phase as it is for the temperature, it can be rather confusing. The biggest downfall is in this £200 bracket range, it's competing against like an Indesit 7 kilo, uh, 6 and 7 kilo, or uh, the Beko 6 or 7 kilo, depending on when this was released. And the truth is that both the Indesit and the Beko give you a better range of programs, what you actually need, as well as better performance too. Especially the Indesit, which tends to give you temperature anyway. And then there's the build quality, and I just kind of find this. This door's already dropped slightly. That's actually hitting the door lock. And these are quite common for the door lock uh, to fall out. Very common for the front concrete weights to break off. Um, but that tends to be more of a manufacturing fault and uh, people kind of ignore it until basically it falls off. Um, and then writes off the machine usually. 
And then because of where this comes from, getting hold of parts can be both expensive and hard to do. Whereas if you've got like the inset or Beko, there are plentiful of parts and the back both the Beko and the inset um, are generally quite reliable. Um, especially the Beko. Cheap Beko's tend to be really reliable. So it's like if my money, if I spend 200 quid on a washing machine and I just wanted something that gave me some programs, I'd be going for possibly the Beko. I don't know, or maybe the inset. The inset is a good choice. So there we go. Um, right, hope you enjoyed this review and I'll see you in another video.